Hello, and welcome to part two in the Apex CC TV tutorial on GeoVision POS data capture integration with your POS system and your GeoVision DVR. In part two, we will be discussing connectivity. Once again, we will be utilizing GeoVision's POS FAQ page located at www.usavisionsys.com forward slash support. Click on the FAQ area and then POS to be directed to this page. This page contains a fantastic amount of information that will make your integration process go as smooth as possible. I strongly recommend covering all material in this FAQ page before beginning your integration. The most useful document on this page is the Data Capture Box Setup Guide located at the bottom of the page. I'm going to click on this link and do a brief overview of the document. At the top of the document, you will see it covers the fact that you need to perform the hyperterminal test as discussed in part one of this series. As you can see, this page covers your physical connections from your POS system to your GV data capture box to your printer and finally from the GV data capture box to your DVR. Once you have determined what type of connection you will be using in your environment, follow the wiring diagrams in this document. Just follow the red boxes for your connection type from each of your components to the GV data capture box and that will complete the physical connections of your POS data capture system. The next area this document covers are the dip switch settings on the data capture box and the baud rate rotary switch which sets the communication speed. On the rear panel of the GV data capture box there are three dip switches. These switches set the various communication modes that the data capture box can use. Switch 1 selects between serial and parallel modes. Switch 2 sets the connector type you will be using and such switch 3 sets the type of cable you are using either straight through or a crossover cable. The table below will show you all the switch settings based upon what connection type you are using. For example, if you are using a DB9 serial, you would want the switches so that switches 1 and 3 are in the up position and switch 2 is in the down position. For a DB25 serial, you would want all of them in the up position. And for a DB25 parallel, you would want switch 1 down and switches 2 and 3 in the up position. The next setting is for the baud or communication speed that the data capture box will communicate with. Remember to set this speed to the same speed you use for the hyperterminal test performed in part one of this series. In most instances it will be set for 9600 baud rate but you can communicate with your POS manufacturer to find out the correct speed for your system. The final topic of this document deals with the Data Capture V3E version of the Data Capture Box. This unit links back to the DVR via network connection, allowing you to transfer your POS data over your existing network infrastructure. Connect a POS system to the Data Capture Box and the Data Capture Box to your printer and then from the side Ethernet connection connect the Data Capture Box to your Ethernet network. We will now return to the FAQ document and I will show you the flowcharts that will allow you to troubleshoot or answer any questions you have about your setup. There are two flowcharts on this page and you need to select the correct one based upon your POS system being a text or graphic mode output. You can find out from your manufacturer what type of system you have. These flowcharts are interactive and if you click on any question you'll be taken to a document that deals with that specific question. That concludes part two of the GeoVision and POS data capture tutorial. 
Look for additional parts in this series upcoming on our website.